Okay, four, three, step two. Um, so that first section, the heading's already in there. The first section we're going to need to fill in. Um, first of all, we need to put the par value of the stock. So we're going to put in $1 par value. Next, we need to put how many issue or yeah, how many shares were issued at the beginning of the year. So we're going to put January 1st, um, and then we had 74,000 shares issued, so that is right. So then we have to figure out the amount. So it's a dollar per share, 74,000 shares. So that means we have $74,000 worth of shares on January 1st. Okay, then we're going to put in how many shares were issued during the current year. So we're going to type issued during current year. It says that we issued 1,000, so that is right. Then we need to put the amount in. So 1,000 shares at a dollar par value is $1,000. Um, then we need to put in our balance. So we're going to say balance on December 31st. Now we're going to have 75,000 shares because we had 74 at the beginning of the year. We sold another 1,000, so now we're going to have seven. 75,000 at the end of the year. Um, we can add these two together to get the amount 75,000. Um, to check our work, we would we could take 75,000 shares that we have at a dollar par value, which equals 75,000. Okay, the next part is going to be our retained earnings section. So we need to put our retained earnings um, balance that we had on January 1st. We're going to go to our adjusted trial balance to find that number. So our retained earnings balance is going to be $165,073.83. Okay, and then we need to put in our net income. So that's going to actually come from our income statement. So if we go back to our income statement, we see our net income here, 63,189.54. dollars So that's what we're going to put at a, on here. So 63,189.54. Okay, and then we need to put in the dividends that were declared. Again, we're going to look at our adjusted trial balance. So the dividends declared were 16,000. We are going to subtract those. So we're going to take our net income minus those dividends that were declared. Okay, so our net increase is going to be 47,189.54. Okay, and then we need to get our balance at the end of the year. So we're going to take our balance at the beginning of the year plus our net increase. And we'll get 212,263.54. And then to get our total stockholders equity, we're going to take our balance of our capital stock um, plus our balance of our retained earnings. And we get $287,263.37. Okay, that is the end of our statement of stockholders equity. So you can go on to the next video for step number three.